Like they don't just program you once and put one film in front of your face and then that's it. Like they have to keep doing it, you know? They have to keep the news going. They have to keep new films coming out. I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I honor now. Something about the race of the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Anna. So for this video, I wanna talk about fear because for the longest time, I have wanted to do a YouTube channel, like literally for years. I've always wanted to create a YouTube channel and film different videos and make music and put myself out there. But every single time, fear would always, always enter my mind and talk me out of it. And even now, after I've been releasing music for ages, like I'm about to drop my second EP and even the amount of videos that I have done on here, every single time I go to film, it still comes up. So I wanna talk about it because I'm really having to learn this lesson now and like dig deeper into my beliefs, into my mind and into like past experiences and memories and things like that to uncover where it's rooted and why it's still there even when I understand all of this fucking shit it still comes up so I want to talk about it because I know that fear is a huge huge thing in the collective right now in so many different aspects of your life kind of thing fear comes up constantly you know like no matter what thing it is that you're dealing with whether it's relationships career even the spiritual work fear is everywhere like it's very deeply embedded and I always talk about the matrix and the belief systems which are built upon fear you know like the matrix system um the societal norms the systems that the handful like the one percent of white people that own all of the wealth they definitely push agendas through the media and through films and through all kinds of ways they push their agendas which are based in fear like it's huge and it's deeply embedded and we're raised with it you know so when I think about that I realize how like deeply programmed we have been and how difficult and how much of like a process it is to shift it you know like it actually has been programmed for so long and I'm talking like for generations and obviously we carry those belief systems through generations because the woman um like women have their eggs from when they're first born like we carry our eggs throughout our whole childhood into adulthood so when you then have a child that egg has been shaped by your DNA because I mean, this is going into a whole science about like DNA and how our minds can change our DNA, how trauma changes our DNA. So all of our experiences will change the DNA of our eggs. And this is science, like it's proven and everything. So like you can research it if you want to know more because I find it really hard to um, put into words. Like I find it hard to put things into the right terms for them to make sense. They always sound wishy-washy whenever I speak about certain things. Like it sounds like I'm not sure of it or something, even though I am. But I realise this again comes back to fear. So if traumas change the DNA of an egg before we're even born, you know, then can you imagine how much it changes our DNA as we grow and as we experience life, like as we come into adulthood, you know, it's constantly changing. Our minds can change our DNA. And that means that the experiences that we have, even as children, will change that too. So that literally just shows you how deeply embedded this shit is and why they go to such extremes to continuously program us you know like they don't just program you once and put one film in front of your face and then that's it like they have to keep doing it you know they have to keep the news going they have to keep new films coming out they have to constantly be programming us with symbols and with words and with images like it's constant and it's everywhere so we're literally living in it like we're being raised in it you know it's around us 24 7 so like when it comes to um doing things that you want to do or even finding your purpose or figuring out who you are or learning how to communicate or learning anything about yourself and how to integrate with society and how to actually hear your heart like so many fear-based beliefs come up 
that you might not even be aware of because they've been so embedded into our subconscious mind through all of these symbols and it's making me realize like okay I need to really look at this deeper now like figure out how to shift it and what I've actually realized is that like it really is about reparenting yourself because we've been raised a certain way in certain environments with certain circumstances with by certain people like certain parents or whoever it is that raised you you know we've had a certain upbringing and each person's upbringing is different so when you want to reprogram your mind which is literally what this journey and process is I've realized now it's such a huge thing and it's such a case of actually having to reparent yourself and it's like a daily gradual process of hearing the fear out like trying to understand what it's actually saying you know so for me when I sit down and film these videos now I'm actually instead of just brushing that fear off and being like oh for fuck's sake like I feel so anxious right now I don't even know what it is and then I just sit there in that anxious emotion emotion and like get stuck and trapped and don't do anything like it's hard to move out of it when you get stuck in that so I've realized instead of doing that and being stuck there and then not filming anything I can actually hear it you know like what are you trying to say like what am I fearing okay why do I fear that and that can be kind of scary because then you have to face yourself and you actually have to hear your beliefs and hear your thoughts and listen to it and oftentimes we'd rather run from it and avoid it but the only way out is in you know the only way to shed light on something is to actually go into the darkness you have to go in and hear it it's not always about the external like you could be fearing what other people think but it's not actually about them it's about you so your fear of that is actually you feeling like you're not good enough to express yourself you know like it always comes back to yourself so even when you're fearing external things look a little deeper and you'll realize that actually it's your lack of self-esteem and your lack of belief in yourself that's making you worry about the external you know and that's what I've realized about these videos with me is I guess lack of belief in myself lack of like knowing that I'm worthy of sitting here and talking about this shit knowing that I can you know because we constantly get caught up in how other people will perceive it and what they'll think about it but you realize that actually the reason that that fear even comes into your mind is because you haven't got that solid belief in yourself of knowing that you deserve to sit here and express yourself. You deserve to do what you want to do and pursue what you want to do and like just be who you are basically. And a lot of that fear-based system, a lot of those beliefs of lack of self-worth and lack of self-esteem comes from our childhood, comes from our experiences, comes from the the norms of society and the things that we're told and the experiences that we go through you know and this doesn't come out of nowhere it's been programmed into us throughout our entire life and past lives so it's going to take a minute to shift it you know it's going to take some time and it's going to take me sitting here filming videos and then having to work through that fear and then stopping and then starting it's going to take some back and forth because that is what this fucking life is you know that is what this process is, it's trial and error and we're all figuring it out for ourselves so yeah I just kind of want to say that if you're doubting yourself or you're fearing something just know that it stems within you like the solution, the way out of it, the way to shift it is in you and it's your own power and it's something that you need to tap into and maybe you're fearing that, maybe you're fearing your own power because you don't feel like you're worthy enough of expressing it when you are and you're worthy just purely by existing you know the fact that you're here means you're worthy let alone everything else <laughs> but it's really powerful when you listen to it because then you get to know yourself and you understand how your mind works because you can't change your mind if you don't know how your mind works you know and nobody is the same when it comes to this experience in a human vessel with with human five senses like each person's experience and each person's journey to enlightenment is completely different and some people aren't here to have that journey some people are here to be human and to play the human role you know and then we know the difference you know then those people that did come here to awaken will know the difference between the programming and being stuck in fear and actually tapping into your heart I also feel like I want to use this video to kind of speak to myself but also speak to you and say like 
this is huge you know when you embark on this journey it's it's huge like it's so powerful but it is a huge thing it's like massive responsibility that you're taking on you know for yourself not just for everybody else but for yourself because it starts with yourself and the change starts within yourself so like it's okay to fuck up you know like it's okay to fail it's okay to fall into that fear trap it's okay to fall into the comparison trap it's okay to forget your worth you know like I feel like it's so it's so intense and so traumatic and so like just so difficult you know and so painful that we then beat ourselves up and we then feel like a failure or feel like we're not doing enough or we haven't come far enough or we haven't achieved enough when really like if you're on this journey of getting to know yourself and understanding how your mind works you are literally reprogramming generations upon generations of bullshit of fear of belief systems that don't serve us so like this is like it's so powerful and so beautiful as well and so incredible and so amazing and like I feel like we should just be celebrating ourselves and be so proud of ourselves for even doing this because a lot of people around us aren't doing this you know I know I just think it's really important to actually go easy on yourself and realize that you're taking on a huge task and it may take you this whole lifetime to do I mean it's taken people generations and it's got to you and it's still not happened but yet you're trying to do it you know that's like a huge achievement so I just think we need to go easy on ourselves and realize that this shit it's just been there for so long you know and it's a difficult journey so there's going to be moments when we get stuck there because literally we're having to reprogram and reparent ourselves and shift all of these things that have been there for so long so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope it was helpful in some way but all my links to my music and social media will be in the description box below and i'll speak to you in the next video bye i need a man that will hold me if he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around I need a